I'm Isa, and today we are going to be reviewing True Realism HD by Pathway Studios. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any new posts. Now, let's go! So, from what I've heard, this is somewhat like a shader, like in uh, Java. Uh, I really want to see like a real shader in Bedrock. There's many shaders in Java, Java edition, and oh my god, they look so good. So from what I've heard, this is the closest thing we've gotten so far to a shader in Bedrock. Well, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Boop! Okay guys, we are in, and immediately off the bat, there's a big bright, bright sun, there's, um, clouds, and then the leaves sway. They made it so the leaves sway. The grass sways. <laughs> this is sway in my inventory? That would've been funny if it did. The flowers sway. Wait, this, this is cool. This is... Oh, there's like little pebbles in the ground every now and again. And there's actually stuff on the, on the ground. This is interesting already. I don't actually notice the tree, oh. Oh my, look at his little stick legs. Ah! What else do we have? I wanna see what a flower forest would look like. We found it. Isn't it like a five? It looks like a polar bear. <laughs> Isn't this like a 5% chance of showing up and like naturally a pink sheep? Look at his little beady eyes. All right, goodbye pink sheep. Oh, does the water look different? Well, if I don't miss, maybe I can figure that out. It's much clearer. Whee. Even the kelp sways. It actually would have been kind of interesting to see if the kelp like swayed a little faster. Oh, that would have been cool. And then we have a netherite thing. Oh, the nether would look really cool with this realism thing. The chests look nice. We got lots of flint. We got a helmet. Obsidian. I actually forgot that these uh, areas actually have like extra s items. Or they have items in them. So I was actually about to skip over this. The armor looks so good. Dang. Turtle. I must see what turtle looks like. Tortoise. Oh my god, he looks like some- Oh wait, get out of the water, please. I wanna see you. Look at his face! He's so cute. In the water, you go. Uh, will the sugar cane sway? At this point, I just wanna see what sways and what doesn't. Ah, it doesn't. Does sugar cane even sway? It might not even sway, it might just be like sticks. I think that it might have like slight movement, but that's about it. The roses, they sway. They have been done by frame by frame, so they kind of shifted some stuff over multiple times and then reversed it to see how it would go. And it does look pretty good. I won't lie, the trees look nice. The one thing that's bothering me is that the leaves sometimes move in different directions. Oh. Is there blood? <laughs> the curiosity, just like, oh wait. Oh, okay, I thought that was actually blood on the ground. Oh. That's real high definition mutton. <laughs> I must find blue orchids. Oh my God, wait, chicken, wait up, wait up, wait up. Look at him. Even the vine sways, that's good. And yeah, this is what I mean by it's the closest we got to, we have to a shader currently. And now we're in a jungle. What the heck, we just found like three biomes attached one by one. So this is mud, right? Yeah, it's mud. What can I do with it? We like blue dye. That's about it. <laughs> 
Uh, are these like mangrove fruits? Mangrove fruits? Yes, they are. I really like how they made the vine sway too. That's probably gotta be one of my favorite parts of this. I really like how they done that. The bamboo doesn't sway either, but the bamboo's harder to get it to look like it's swaying with the method they've used because, well, it's 3D. Okay, I don't know why, but I just have a weird obsession with collecting bamboo in this game. I must collect bamboo. If I see it, I must collect. That is, that is basically how it works for me. Me melons. Melons are probably the worst food you can eat. Also, look at it. It looks so good. Probably one of the worst foods you can eat in Minecraft. They only give you, like... Oh! What am I thinking of? That's the bad one. There's one that only gives you, like, half a hunger bar each time. I think it's beetroot. Look at the copper and look at the coal! And then if I go down... I can barely see, but I usually tend to go mining without anything, any light source, so this is kind of normal for me. Yes, I am risking a lot, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna just explore down here. I am risking a lot, because I can easily die, but why not? Why, why not? Okay, yeah, there's no good- there's not gonna be any air pockets here, are there? Nope, abort, 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 abort. Abort the mission. <laughs> now I need to find my way back. Uh... I will be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back out of the caves. <laughs> and what I've decided to do is I'm gonna get in creative mode and show some things that intrigued me. Uh, as I was looking through all of this. Now, I'm gonna put them in groups, so we'll have blocks, doors, I'm gonna cons- er, no, just blocks. Weapons, mobs, and yeah, just overall stuff. So I'm gonna start with plants. Dang it. I was hoping that the saplings would sway as well. Uh, or at least the leaves might move a tiny bit, but oh well. Big dream leaf. It looks so good. It actually looks really good. I actually really like how the drip leaf looks here. So it just teleports back. Is that what it does in the actual game? Does it just teleport back? I'm curious now. It's more blossom. I'm just gonna use the block of diamonds. You can take a minute to appreciate it. Cause I'm gonna get to it after. It is the new sun. This is, this is the best sun. It looks so good. Okay, this is gonna be one of my favorite. Wait, can I just? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, now we're gonna like get particles all over the place. I will summon it later because I don't want to have those particles. But it looks really good. It's drip, small drip leaf. I can't place it. What is it? Does it live in water? It does! Oh, I didn't know that. Almost the same thing, but tiny, of course, and I can't step on it. And then a lily pad. I love lily pads. I have no reason to. Come on, it's work with me. But I love them. They look so good. And then we have one that I was person. I did not mean to check the bag. Now I've collected everything else, not what I want. The twisting vines. I don't swing. I mean, they look really good, but I was hoping they'd play. So good, even the even the leaves wiggle a little bit. All right, sorry, sorry, we're good, but er, blah, mm, ah, sorry, blue orchid. All right, I'm gonna get to the generic building blocks now. Doors, they look so good. I love them. This is the warp door. The crimson door is the same thing, I believe, but just like crimson. They all look so good. I really like these doors. Okay, I would pay to have these doors in my in my like my house or like in actual Minecraft. I really like it. And then we have minerals. We have a block of diamond, a block of emerald, and a block of gold. I'm gonna just chuck them out. 
they look so pretty. Especially the emerald one. The emerald one's my favorite out of these three. And then I thought I'd just get some glass. Get purple, cyan, and purple, cyan, and white. I can actually see through the stained glass. You can see through them as well in Minecraft, but I actually don't remember if they changed it to make it easier to see through. And then you can almost see straight through the glass one. Obviously, that's the point of glass, but. And then frog lights. I was away for this, so I actually don't know what these are. Why are they called frog lights? I mean, they're pretty. That's for sure. And then we have the iron bars. This would be perfect for like build building like a medieval thing. It looks so good, you can build like a little cellar. Hang on. Yeah, you can build like a little cellar. Hang on, I wanna try now. I wanna try making something. Hang on, give me a second. I wanna try this now. Okay, so before I show what I did, I do want to look at other items first. So I'm gonna move on to weapons and general in use items. So we have the totem of Fendai, which looks like a little angel with it. The green gemstone. The trident. Why am I holding it that high? Doesn't feel too effective from how high I'm holding it, but oh well. And the elytra. Angel wings. Whee! Whee! And then just to keep in mind, the. Pickaxes, uh, the netherite and diamond pickaxes are almost the same thing. Uh, they're just different colors. Same thing with the armor. We have the pickaxe, the sword. I really like how the sword looks. And an axe. Beautiful. And then we have beds. Oh. And pink shulker boxes. Jesus, that's trippy. It looks really good. Then we have... Very nice looking bed. Quite comfortable, actually. Uh, and then we have the Shrieker. Dang, I haven't actually seen this either. Wait, so if I just... Okay, no, I have to step on it. It's good. Okay, now we have the mobs. So we have the frog. Ah! It's like, it looks like a, one of those princess and the frog toads. Oh. Sorry, man. The warden. I'm gonna save that for last. Oh, I was so be cute. And I like how they did like the extra extended part. <laughs> they did the little extra extended part, but I thought they would be cute. Nah, they they realistic. <laughs> Creeper. I mean, that's what I asked for. Jesus. Scary boy. Not nearly as bad as like some characters from like Hollow Knight. I play the game and it's amazing. If you are looking for a good game on Steam with plenty of content, content, Hollow Knight. Amazing, a very good game. Uh, the LA. Oh. Find other children. Okay, I'm not lying. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of sparing me. Then the warden. I accidentally gave an warden egg. Uh-oh. Okay, hang on. Wait a minute. I actually haven't... That's how the warden worked. That is. Leave this place. That is kind of scary. Uh. 
Hey, now we get ambience for what I wanted to do. So I decided to get out of here, Creeper. This is meant to be kind of, it's meant to look nice. Get out. So I tried to make a little cellar using some of the items that I found. So this is what I have. It's I'm not much of a builder, but hey, it doesn't look that bad. So it's a little cellar. I mean, trap doors that definitely look like they should work. <laughs> As the cellar doors, and then you go in, the moss gets more and more. So, and with this. To make it look endless, I didn't actually dig that far. I just put like a little a concrete wall. And then with the darkness, it makes it look like it kind of goes on forever, or it goes really deep. I think it looks pretty good, and I really like it. <laughs> I actually quite like this mod, especially with... Especially with all of, like, the moving, um, foliage. I'm not a big fan of, like, the character entities and models, but everything else I really like. Oh, the warden looks really good, that's for sure. Uh, and then I believe there are some villagers over here. And I'm curious to see what they look like. We found our subject. Show me your face. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna be honest. Villagers, very hard to make them look like these. And not scared. But hey, they got the noses. The noses look very good. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video here, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any new posts. So I will see you guys next time. Bye!